Welcome to Encounter Shiny Mission. We are your hosts, Ellie Kirsch and Hudson Wibro. For our first story, we are going to head over to Trailwood Elementary School to hear all about the Battle of the Books. This is Marin Clement with Encounter Shiny Mission, and today we're taking a closer look at Trailwood's Battle of the Books. That is correct. So Battle of the Books is a fun and extracurricular activity to engage students in reading more and promoting reading and also doing it with their friends and so a fun activity. I've had many parents email me this year saying that, oh my gosh, I love Battle of the Books. My child has really come out of their shell because of it, because they're reading more and then they get to discuss and, and um, find new friends. So I think it's a great outlet. Battle of the Books is open to fourth through sixth graders, so it is a great opportunity for students to meet new people from different grade levels. Your time starts now. Um, so this is my second year doing it and I've always found it very enjoyable like I love to read and it's fun to have like a list to get done and it's like it's something to, like to do over like, the, like to do the year like it's just fun to have something to do like do it with friends just like try your best even if it, you don't win like you it was fun and you did it and to make sure you like you spread out how many books you read so you don't like get them all jumbled together and mess up and have one person work on authors that's what I would say to do. Battle of the Books is a way for students to engage in their reading while also having fun. This has been Marin Clement with Encounter Shawnee Mission signing off. Wow, Ellie, those kids sure read a lot of books. I know, reading is such an important skill to learn at a young age. Did you love to read when you were in elementary school, Hudson? Not as much as I love drama. Oh, like gossip and trends? No, Ellie, like drama club. Brookwood has this amazing drama club open to fourth through sixth graders. Last month, they even put on a big performance. Oh, wow, that's my kind of drama. Let's go take a closer look. Hi, it's Callan Gregory. And I'm Matthew Burns. And we're here with Encounter Shawnee Mission to take a closer look into Brookwood Elementary School's Drama Club. Let's go. First, let's talk to who runs and founded the Drama Club at Brookwood Elementary. Soon after I arrived here about 14 years ago, and Mr. Mosier is the art teacher, and he helps me out a lot. He and I both sponsor the Drama Club. Now, Let's see who the main actors of the Hepshetsu play are. My role in the play is Hatshepsut. I kind of narrate the story because just going through and kind of creating these magical things. I am a high noble who has a crush on ha the main character. Um, I'm a tourist that wears really weird clothes and I kind of don't understand stuff. Now let's see what the best and favorite part of a teacher and student's part in drama club is. It's fun to see the kids come alive in their character. And, and it's particularly fun on performances because like today there was laughter and clapping and they haven't had that in rehearsal and that really builds up their self-confidence. My favorite memory is probably in the first few rehearsals we all kind of like come together and do like drama games and I really think that's fun because we get to closer and connect more. My favorite moment is I think when I found out I was an archaeologist with my best friend. Figuring out who I'll be working with and making new friends. Um, waking up early in the morning. Now let's see if the teacher thought the drama club performance went well today and what some improvements could be. Yes, I do. Um, we didn't have the success with our sound system that we had hoped, but that's always, that's to be expected. It'll be different tonight. This has been Matthew Burns and Callan Gregory with Encounter Shawnee Mission signing off. Thank you for watching. Those actors are so talented. I wish I had some talent. Come on now, Ellie. You are talented. Look at you. You're anchoring the show. That's true, I guess, but there are so many things I wish I was good at. Well, let's check in with our team at Rose Hill who covered the talent show that the sixth graders put on last month. They've got lots of talents, and maybe you could get some ideas. Great idea, Hudson. Let's go to Daniel in the field. Well, hello there. I'm Daniel Lockett with Encounter Shawnee Mission. And you know, talent often is found young. And we here at Encounter Shawnee Mission realize that today with the sixth grade talent show at Rose Hill Elementary School. Yeah.
got together with the special teachers to kind of create an opportunity for the kids to showcase their talents. And so this week, all this week, we've been, instead of going to your regular specials class, we've been getting the kids together to put on a talent show. During the show, the students got to perform a wide range of talent from musical to comedic Why are piggy banks so wise? I don't know why. They're filled with common sense. Martial arts and even more non-traditional talent show, show displays. But it wasn't just on the stage where the students shun. The show was completely run by the students, and for those not performing, there are plenty of roles to be filled, such as backstage crew and even MCs. Board and the special teacher hung up this paper where we all wrote our name and what class we were in and what we wanted to do. And I wrote my name down and I wanted to be an MC. I think we should keep it going because it expires, inspires kids to get out there and be themselves. That Rose Hill should keep the talent show just because, like, it's just an opportunity to get to know students that you might not be friends with or you don't know yet. Daniel Lockett with Encounter Shiny Mission signing off. Man, there's so many cool things going on in our elementary schools. Don't worry, Hudson. There are also a lot of cool things going on in our middle school as well. Really? Yeah, Indian Woods Middle School recently put on a production of Newsies Junior for their annual musical. Oh man, I love a good musical. Let's take a closer look. We're here with Encounter Shiny Mission as we take a closer look into Indian Wood Middle School's musical production, Newsies Junior. I'm the Indian Woods Choir Director, and I'm the Music Director, and then I help facilitate all of the ticket sales, posters, and the production pieces at the school. I am the Technical Director, so that means I'm in charge of lights, sounds, costumes, and sets. We talked to a few of the cast members to ask them what Newsies is about and what message it sends. Basically, that people can't be treated in such a poorly way, and that everyone deserves rights. Well, um, it's a based on a true story of the Newsboys strike of 1899, where the Newsboys, who sold newspapers, they had their price to buy their newspapers jacked up by the newspaper company, so they went on strike and convinced the owners of the newspaper to put the price back down. I played Davy Jacobs. Um, he is one of the new newsies. Um, he's very uptight and a schoolboy who does not want to be there. Um, but he ends up making a bunch of friends along the way of his newsy journey. I play Crutchy. Crutchy, well, um, he's a newsie, obviously, and he has a gimp leg. You know, he got polio, and so one of his legs doesn't work. So he carries around a crutch, but that doesn't make him, you know, any weaker than the rest of the newsies. If anything, I would say that he's one of the, the strongest ones out there. And he's he's a leader in in the newsies. And you know, he's he's respected by a lot of them. Um, I'm costume crew, so that basically means that we um, organize and we help design some of the costumes. So uh, I work in we all section off and do different parts of the play. I'm Catherine Plummer. Catherine is a like young reporter that she just started writing and her father is the really mean guy. I'm backstage crew. For that we just move sets so we can get the, uh, the scene in order. We then asked the cast and crew why they chose to join theater and their favorite parts of it. Well when I was in elementary school in like maybe the third or fourth grade my music teacher put on Newsies for us and it really just inspired me to do theater. So specifically doing this show is just a dream come true. Uh, well, it's fun. It's just a good time. And you get to see a hundred some kids do something that they really want to do and um, really just try their best and like execute a great performance year after year. Probably the, just the community that I get to be around um, with everyone in it. It's, everyone's always so supportive and really nice. So it's always, I'm really excited to go to rehearsal every day. Ball's a bunch, a bunch of my friends and I love being on stage and just being able to express myself in a whole different way. My favorite part is watching the kids grow through the process and watching them feel so excited once they've reached that success level. Like, they have put so much work in uh, during this process and I just love to see them when they start to get excited and they start to think, yes, we were like really good today. Um, I think that's my favorite part as they start to discover that success. 
This is Ellie Kirsch, Hudson Whitbroad, and Maddie Lilich signing off with Encounter Shawnee Mission. It's so nice to see kids expressing themselves on stage, don't you think, Hudson? Oh yeah, I think it's really amazing, but I'd never be able to do that. Why not? Well, I have a pretty bad stage fright, and I like after-school clubs and activities that are a little less social and a little more intellectual. I know just a school club that would be the perfect fit for you. Well, if you were still in elementary school, that is. Really, Ellie? Yeah, at Oak Park Carpenter, they have a chess club. We should go to Levi in the field to hear more about it. That sounds so good. Let's go. This is Levi Harrison with Encounter Shawnee Mission. Today, we will be looking at the 6th grade chess club at Oak Park Carpenter Elementary School. You know, like everyone in our class was playing chess, but we kind of got in trouble for playing chess because we'd be playing it, you know, like middle While the class. teacher was talking. <laughs> uh, it really uses your brain activity. You get to learn a lot, and there's a bunch of different strategies you can do. Uh, the first day of chess club was all of us just kind of learning how to get into the moves and all the rules. And now, all of us are kind of competitive with it. It's kind of a social game if you want it to be. Like some games where you really have to think you're going to be kind of quiet. If like you're just playing to play and you're not trying to be super serious about it, it's a good social experience. I had always wanted to do something outside of school with, with some of my friends. And chess club was the perfect opportunity because A, I love chess and B, it's with all my friends social part. I really like talking to people. Uh, yeah, kind of the same thing. Me and Shelby are both kind of like social. It's kind of nice having a time where, you know, you can see and talk to some of your friends who, you know, like, I mean, you could see out of school, but don't normally. With the help of Luke Nasky and Caden McCracken, this has been Levi Harrison reporting for Encounter Shawnee Mission. Who knew the chess club could be so fun? It's great to see kids challenging themselves like that. Absolutely. Man, you know what? Watching all these kids do amazing things is making me hungry, Hudson. Maybe you should get a snack at the Broadmoor Bistro. Did you know that a South student named Lucy Hutton works there? Is that the girl that who won state in culinary arts? It sure is. Lucy Hutton, a Shawnee Mission South sophomore, helped her culinary team take first place in this year's state competition, and she got first place in knife skills. Let's go to Natalie in the field to hear more about Lucy's story. Every student at South has a different, unique schedule. Their average day might look like going from classroom to classroom, but Lucy Hutton's day looks a little different than others. So basically, it's a class that you're allowed to come in and you do chapters and you do questions, kind of that goes along with things that you're going to be doing in the kitchen. This class had helped Hutton be introduced into the culinary world. Get to know um, really everything about culinary and then you're kind of pushed into the kitchen and you get to really make whatever. It's really fun to be able to just go in the kitchen and just cook. And it's it's really good experience too. It's almost like a real world experience in the kitchen. Any student can take Culinary One, but Lucy has that special chef taste. She's working in the Broadmoor Bistro and is headed to Nationals after taking the win at State. I found out about the competitions through restaurant class and through um, my peers in the kitchen. They were starting a team and asked me to join, and I thought, mm, not my thing, competition, that's scary. Knowing that I was going with people that cared, you know, and weren't just some people that I knew from culinary, you know, they were friends. We connected on another level while cooking. It just made everything a lot easier. Culinary can be very emotional and stressful, especially at competitions. The progress to perfection is not always sunshine and flowers. First, we went to JCCC. Um, it was very nerve-wracking. We actually got there and I was sweating. I was on the verge of tears and I, it's not that I was scared, it was just that I was scared to let down the team. JCCC was an awesome experience. It, it really set us up. As if regionals wasn't chaotic enough, taking the win at state was a groundbreaking moment. And so then we had been put into the pro star competition and we had never won. We had always placed second, you know, so there was very high pressure. And so the last day it was kind of like, okay, like we're here, we're doing this. And we didn't get to practice for all three of those days. So that kind of set us off too, but we were still in it. We were in it to win. We were there to do our job, bring home the trophy and that was it. And we went to Wichita and we won. We won first place state. And it was like a weight lifted off my chest. It was like I had finally accomplished something and I had something to, 
to talk about, you know? And we were able to come back here with the first place trophy and the first place po pork dish and the first place knife cuts. Uh, it was an amazing feeling, truly. It was one of the greatest things I had accomplished. That day was the best day of my life. This is Natalie Homan with Encounter Shawnee Mission signing off. Thanks, Natalie. We are so proud of Lucy over there at Shawnee Mission South. You know who else I'm proud of? Who, Ellie? All those kids at John Deemer. They also put on a talent show over there, and it was a huge success. Let's check in with Ian to hear more about it. Hi, my name is Ian Howard with Encounter Shawnee Mission. Today we're going to be looking at John Deemer's very own talent show. The John Deemer Talent Show is a long-standing tradition that is currently being organized by Deemer parents Jay and Louie Roof. The two spent a lot of time planning, organizing, and preparing for the talent show. This year's talent show is filled with many incredible acts, including comedy acts, magic tricks, martial art performances, cooking shows, and even performances by the teachers and admins themselves. Each act had been carefully planned and practiced so that the show could flow smoothly. The talent show is an important part of the local culture, and after being shut down for the past three years due to the COVID-19 pandemic and John Neymar being rebuilt, many are thankful to see it return. We asked Principal Britt Pumphrey what the talent show meant to him. The talent show for me is fun because it's just a time to celebrate kids' individual um, talents. Sometimes in school, kids think they're not good because they can't read or can't do math or something like that, right? Um, but talent shows, are a way for them to showcase the wide range of skills they have, so I love it. When I say John, you say Deemer. John! John! I'm Ian Howard with Encounter Shawnee Mission, and that was John Deemer's talent show. Thanks, Ian. You know what? After watching all these talents, I kind of just want to curl up by myself with a blanket and read a good book. It's funny you should say that, Ellie because our last story is actually about the book fair that Brookridge just put on. I bet there would have been a great book there for you to pick out and read. You're right, Hudson. A book fair sounds so cool right about now. Let's go take a look. This is Charlie, Jen, Jack, Thornton, and Colin Kerr and Prince Miller with Encounter Shawnee Mission, and today we're taking a closer look at Brookridge Elementary School's book fair. I'm Melissa Moltenny, and I'm the Library Media Specialist here at Brookridge. So it's really nice. We do the book fair in the fall and then again in the spring, and um, a lot of the money that we make from the book fair goes back into the library. So we buy books and materials and uh, different things for our makerspace from the profits we make from the book fair. The book fair encourages kids to read more and buy things they enjoy. We asked Ms. Moltini how low-income families can still reap the benefits of the book fair. The Johnson County Library donates a huge box of books, probably a hundred books, um, from the Johnson County Library that are brand new books. And so any kids that don't have money for the book fair can choose a free book from that box. This has been Charlie, Jen, Prince Miller, Jack Thornton, and Colin Kerr reporting with Encounter Shawnee Mission. Thanks everyone for tuning in to Encounter Shawnee Mission. We hope you had a good time checking out all the things that the different schools in the South area are doing. This has been Hudson Whitbrook and Ellie Kirsch with Encounter Shawnee Mission, signing, signing off. off.